They're coming to get you, Barbara. Look, there's one of them now. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Josh from Night Mountain Woodsboro Lake. Uh, thank you for tuning in uh, yet again to another uh, spoiler-free movie review. Um, I would be lying if I said that I'm not down in the dumps a little bit. Uh, my original plans for the evening kind of slipped through the cracks, and I'm at a loss for why. Um, but I'm going to make the most of tonight, and I decided that I would do a quick spoiler-free uh, movie review of the movie uh, Night of the Living Dead um, 3D. This is the 2D version. I don't have a <laughs> 3D compatible like system or TV of any kind. I mean, I do have a smart TV, but you got to have more than that for this. Um, but yeah, this movie was released in 2006. Um, obviously, it is a remake of the original um, by George A. Romero, um, one of my favorite directors, aside from Wes Craven. And uh, yeah, I mean, without spoiling, you know, much of this film, uh, it's a good old fashioned zombie flick um, featuring the late and great uh, Sid Hag. Um, good old Captain Spaulding and uh, many other characters, but I think that's the one that stuck with me the most over the years. Um, and you also have Brianna Brown. Uh, she's been in quite a few things. Um, she is our main uh, character in this film who plays Barbara, um, which is exactly like the original film. And um, just a quick summary brother and sister are headed out to the country to a funeral um, for a family member and they're supposed to meet up with their mom there and uh, you can tell that they're all very distant and very estranged and um, once they arrive to that funeral um, things kind of go downhill from there um, and then we get our good old uh, zombie movie uh, i always enjoyed this film um, i love the original uh, you know, it was black and white. I had a lot of sub, uh, like subliminal context uh, due to the stuff that was going on in the, in the world affairs at that time. Uh, George A. Romero was really good at getting that message across while still providing a good zombie movie. And um, to me, he is like the forefather of the zombie genre or subgenre, I should say. Um, but yeah, this is a fun movie. You want to hang out on a weekend or, you know, like on a late night and you're looking for a fun, like horror movie. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Um, it's nothing crazy. You're not going to be like, oh my God, that's the greatest movie I've ever seen. But it's definitely one that I enjoy enough that I revisit it on multiple occasions. And I think um, if you haven't seen it, I would definitely give it a watch. It's, it's fun. Um, and this movie actually um, helped me stumble across a band that I really, really ended up liking, and that is called Radford. Uh, their track is in the, the end of the movie, going into the credits, and it's called Control. Uh, after hearing that, I ended up um, looking them up and found out that I think they had just one album. It was called like Sleepwalkers or something like that. Uh, ended up being a really great album with the pretty diverse track list and i ended up really enjoying that and now that has become a staple in my my playlist for like the last uh, shoot 12 years um i think that's like the first time i actually saw this film was about 12 years ago uh, back in 2010 i just graduated high school and uh yeah good times good memories um if I was to rank this film, you know, being for what it is um, and what it's not, and the fact is that it doesn't try to be anything more than it is. It, it's just a good old like gore fest, zombie flick. Um, I would definitely give this an eight in the respect of that, because this isn't 28 days later. Uh, this isn't any of George A. Romero's later stuff like Land of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead. It's not like like that crazy, um, but it's definitely fun and it's definitely enjoyable. 
Um, so yeah, I think it definitely deserves an eight in that respect. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I know I'm not as high energy tonight as I usually am. Uh, I appreciate though that you uh, take the time to watch my content. And uh, it really means a lot to me that you've joined the Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake family. Uh, I could always use more members. Um, I'm a, I'm a really easygoing guy. You know, if you ever want to hit me up on Instagram n.o.w.l.91, I'm more than down to chat horror movies, horror books, anything you want to talk about. I'm, I'm cool. Cool with that. Uh, you can comment on my videos. I'm really good about responding. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I, I, I love being a part of this horror community and, you know, I've made so many good friends, um, through this and, it's been great because I don't have really have that here in, in where I live. Um, it's hard to find fellow horror heads that enjoy the genre or the, you know, the genre as much as I do. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, definitely stay tuned. I've got some, you know, other interviews lined up, um, more guest reviews. I do have a guest review that I'm really stoked about dropping tomorrow. Um, it's about 11 o'clock my time is usually when I drop the video. So definitely watch out for that. Uh, if you haven't like hit the notification bell, uh, please do uh, mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, just remember, or sorry, <laughs> keep killing it out there, my friends. Just remember, don't get caught. <laughs>